for every action, there is a reaction, and its name is recoil. Recoil is backward momentum caused by the discharge of a projectile from a gun where an imbalance of force is created when fired. We previously learned about recoil in handguns, but even an air gun that does not have significant movement of heavy mechanical parts during the firing cycle produces recoil. Olympic gold medalist Jamie Gray demonstrates the action of recoil with an air rifle. There are three different methods of power sources with air guns, spring piston, pneumatic, and CO2. In spring piston air guns, especially high powered ones, recoil is a result of the forward motion of the piston when fired. Pneumatic and CO2 guns both operate with compressed gas and have the same recoil behavior. They're designed to have no significant movement with its mechanical parts, allowing it to produce lower recoil. Air gun projectiles also have an effect on the factors of recoil. Like firearms, if the weight of the projectile increases, so does the recoil. The lighter the projectile means less resistance against air, creating less energy and therefore less recoil. The heavier the projectile, the more resistance and therefore more movement felt by the air gun. Make no mistake about it, air guns do recoil. The misconception with air guns is that the recoil is so minimal that it's easier to say no recoil action is involved. But as we've learned, for every action, there is a reaction. For Firearm Science, I'm Jesse Duff. See you next time.